In this video, we will begin working with function notation. Function notation is simply that notation f of x is equal to some expression. Remember, this does not mean f times x, but simply the name of the function f and what is plugged into the function x. This variable x, or whatever is in the parentheses or inside the function, is what will go in the expression. Let's take a look at some examples where we plug that number in parentheses into the expression for the variable. In this problem, we're asked to find f of 3. In other words, we're asked to plug the number 3 into the function f. As we do, we'll replace each of the x's with the number we're asked to use. As we do, we will always put our substitutions in parentheses. Notice the negative is not in parentheses. Only the x changing to a 3 goes in parentheses, squared, plus 2 times x, which now is a 3, minus 5. After plugging 3 into the function for each of the variables, we can now evaluate using the order of operations. Exponents first, notice, noticing the exponent is only on the 3. This gives us negative 9, plus 2 times 3, minus 5. Next, we multiply to get negative 9 plus 6 minus 5, and finally start to add and subtract from left to right to get negative 3 minus 5, which is equal to negative 8. This tells us that when we plug 3 into this function, the expression is equal to negative 8. Let's take a look at another example where we're asked to plug a number into a function and simplify the resulting equation. In this problem, we're asked to plug 20 into g as we find g of 20. If g of x is equal to the square root, we need to replace the x in that function with the 20. This gives us the square root of 2x, which now gets replaced with 20, plus 5. Simplifying, we'll multiply first, giving us the square root of 40 plus 5, and then we will add the 40 and 5 together to get the square root of 45. We can simplify this square root by finding the prime factorization of 45, which is divisible by 3, 15 times, 3, 5 times, and 5 once. The prime factorization of 45 is 3 squared times 5. Sure enough, we can simplify by pulling a 3 out of the radical to get our final answer, 3 times the square root of 5. This tells us that when 20 is plugged into the function, the result will be 3 root 5. Function notation is simply a fancy way of saying replace the variable with whatever is in the parentheses.